so hello welcome to everyone in this lecture this is the lecture number 13 for the uh, paper advanced paper for msc in physics fourth semester that is the microwave okay uh, in this lecture actually we want to discuss about the sources that means the how we can generate the uh, microwave that the, the 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 source of the microwave uh, we will be discussed at the uh, at the very beginning we just discuss in this lecture that is the conventional sources and their limitation in case of the microwave generation okay so the lecture consists the portion that is the uh, what is the conventional methods to generate the frequency rf frequency mainly you know the uh, spectrum of this frequency so in the conventional method we can generate uh, uh, up to uh, certain limit of this RF uh, of the frequency of the electromagnetic wave but uh, in case of the microwave we cannot uh, generate the uh, microwave from this conventional sources so what are the limitation we actually discuss in this lecture okay you can see this is the total syllabus for the microwave of the University of Calcutta fourth semester for the MSc okay this portion we cover transmission line and waveguide component this portion also covered and the third measurement also covered if you wants to watch this lecture also you can go through this restriction was link is given there in this uh, lecture we wants to start this portion that is the fourth one for source that means the uh, how the uh, microwave are generated right so in this lecture we wants to this portion that is the conventional sources and their limitation we will be discussed here okay and the next video uh, we will go on through this portion right we actually uh, refer to these books you can go through this reference okay so let's start so uh, we can say that is the actually classification of the microwave sources how we can uh, classify it a source of microwave actually there are mainly two type uh, sources that uh, this actually not a only microwave this is general source of any uh, RF generator or electromagnetic wave generator so in case of the microwave we can see there are mainly two types of microwave sources uh, microwave can be generated by vacuum tubes or in solid state right vacuum tubes means uh, the uh, uh, in the very beginning the diode triode are uh, are uh, generated or the used in a vacuum in this uh, vacuum tube right so uh, sorry <coughs> Uh, so uh, you can say that the uh, there are mainly two types of microwave can be generated by vacuum tubes or the solid state okay in in the vacuum tubes there are two uh, two categories that is linear beam tubes that is called o type uh, here the magnetic field is parallel with the dc electric field so the, the when the dc electric field and the magnetic field is parallel to each other then this is called o type or the linear uh, beam tubes Whereas cost field tubes means called M type, we will be discussed each of them uh, very elaborately. But at a certain glance, we just check these things. That is the uh, M type means magnetic field and is perpendicular to the DC electric field. When these are the perpendicular to each other, this is then this is called cross field type. So these two are the vacuum tube and the uh, solid state uh, are also categorized into two types: transverse electron device and the avalanche transit time device. Transfer electron device means the device made with negative resistance material. Negative resistance material when we uh, increases voltage, uh, current will be decreases like that. You you remember this one I think. In the Ohm's law generally, in the Ohm law generally V proportional to I. That means like that. But in case of the negative resistivity, this become like that. The, so 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 if you increases. Uh, if you increases voltage you can see here this portion this portion is actually called the negative resistivity negative resistivity means power power is uh, power is uh, 
um, uh, i square r so the current will be uh, negative that's why the power will be negative power negative means the power will be generated power positive mean power given to the system power negative means system gives the power towards the uh, load right so this is uh, actually the um, power generator so uh, that's mean it can generate microwave at a certain uh, configuration so this type where the electron transfer and makes a microwave is called the transfer electron microwaves we will be uh, example uh, in the next classes of that in the next upcoming classes right so we will be detailed about that but at a moment we can uh, see that this when the resistivity is negative negative resistivity material gives these types of uh, power generator uses and the microwave generation right and another one is avalanche transition time device that means oscillation relay of the effect of the voltage breakdown across the reverse bios pn junction produces simply electron holes where that means when you use a pn junction solid state device you know this star categorized in solid state device so in case of the pn junction in the reverse bios a supply of electron and holes when the when the background is occurred there will be large number of hole and electron are generated that's it uh, avalanche time device are also uh, generate the microwave so these are the basic four category category in which we can make the microwave and each category we will give an example uh, and with this example we will be understand about this category okay in the next lectures but at this moment we want to discuss about the what are the limitation of these two uh, conventional process these are the uh, conventional process pro, you can see these are the conventional process for any uh, rf uh, rm electromagnetic wave generator but in case of the microwave there are there are the various limitation so let's start with their limitation okay first one uh, first uh, at the first just uh, look at the conventional tube that means these uh, triodes, uh, tetros, pentros, these are still a signal source of the output power at low micro frequency. So, in case of the lower frequency, we can generate using this, uh, in, using this conventional tube. There is no problem, okay. You can see these are the circuit symbol for diode, uh, triode, tetrode, pentrode. There is the slight difference in, in case. You can see here there is a heater, two lit. And there is a cathode third, third lead and anode there is four lead for each case right with the additional in diode there is no grid in the triode there is an, a, a control grid so this is additional lead in the case of triode there are two lead uh, two grids screen and the control this will be control and the screen grid and in case of the pentrode there are three grids uh, that is control screen and suspensor right so with increasing the uh, number of grids the uh, the diode becomes triode then tetrode and pentrode clear so this uh, uh, the minimum number of the lead is the four and you can see this is a uh, a triode this is a triode a one two four four five there is five leads five lead one means the one two three four and five okay so this is a triode you uh, you can write here uh, you can write here this is a triode example of uh, image of triode okay so this actually the conventional method uh, here the uh, show in case of the lower frequency we can meet uh, using this triode tetrode pentrode okay so signal source is actually categorized into two category signal frequency and the swift frequency okay signal source are categorized in two category and the basic uh, requirement distinguishing signal generator from the other oscillator that's mean you can say uh, the oscillator generate the oscillation and the signal this is also a oscillations so this also can be generated but there is slight uh, difference this is frequency uh, dial correct calibration is required for signal generator calibrated output required and module modulation capability so these are actually the basic requirement to distinguish signal generator uh, for the others oscillator okay so this is the conventional tube by which we can generate the uh, conventional uh, electromagnetic wave or the uh, signals right 
So, by using this conventional tube, we can uh, generate the electromagnetic wave even at the lower frequency, microwave frequency. But in case of the higher microwave frequency, we cannot use this conventional tube. Why? These are the uh, limitation. But before that, we actually give an example of triode. Uh, tri this is an image of a uh, triode oscillator. Okay, regenerative triode oscillator. You can see there are the capacitors. So, a resonant tank circuit between this LCR parallel. So, this is a uh, tank circuit and this is also a tank circuit. So, these two are tank circuit and you can see there are uh, all leads are happening with, with one gate, uh, one grid. So, one grid means one grid means the triode, right? So, this will be a triode. Okay, so a resonant tank uh, circuit, this uh, resonant with that one, uh, this actually positive feedback and this will be gain feedback, the two, two point. So the cathode and the grid is inductively coupled with the inductor of the plate circuit and the connected in such a manner the positive feedback occurs. So uh, for any oscillator, you know there needs a positive feedback. So here we need to also positive feedback. For higher frequency, size of L and C needs to decreases. You know, with uh, with decreasing the L and C, the frequency will be uh, increases. With in uh, with decreasing the size, the frequency will be increases. So, in case of the higher frequency, in case of the higher frequency, we need to uh, develop very small sized, uh, very small size L and C, which is uh, which becomes a problem. That means a short circuited problem will be arises. Okay. So, this is the basic structure of a triode and uh, there will be a problem when we wants to generate the higher frequency because in case of higher frequency the dimension of our L and C will be reduces. When the dimension of there will be reduced then, uh, then it will be uh, problem of a short circuit right and uh, practically this is important uh, impossible to develop a very small size very small size uh, devices right and uh, there is a an alternate uh, there is a solution uh, with uh, some range that is if we increases the uh, distance between these uh, two plate the gap uh, that is called the twin lead introducing twin lead by introducing twin lead we can uh, increasing the uh, range of the frequency but up to a one gigahertz but more uh, not more than okay so there, there is a limitation with uh, silly solution, but this is not the enough solution. So this is a problem to the conventional tube as an example of diode. Okay, Le look at the other uh, uh, other uh, limitation. Okay, now uh, first one is the inter electrode capacitance. That means when we uh, consider the metal and are the separated by a dielectric okay so triode are the made by metal and uh, dielectric so there is a uh, capacitance will be uh, arises at this junction or the inter electrode capacitance that means at the end of the capaci uh, electrode there will be arises a, uh, a capacitance uh, due to due to junction of this metal or the, with the dielectric so there is an uh, additional capacitance will be arises uh, you can see here there is cpg means capacitance between the plate and the grid this is the capacitance between plate and the grid this is the capacitance between grid to cathode and this is the total capacitance across the tube so these are the additional capacitance that is the inter inter electrode capacitance arises due to due to junction at the uh, uh, due to junction at this the cap uh, at this the uh, electrode with the dielectric right so this is a problem and in the uh, if input frequency increases effective grid cathode impedance decreases uh, if we increase the increase uh, increase the frequency uh, we want to uh, require that is the higher frequency so if you increase the uh, frequency the effective grid cathode impedance decreases because the um, uh, capac because the impedance you know the 1 by omega c 1 by omega c this frequency is nothing proportional to 1 by omega uh, sorry 
uh, impedance impedance is nothing by impedance due to capacitance is nothing by 1 by omega c so if the frequency will be uh, increase if omega will be increased the impedance will be decreasing they are inversely so at the higher frequency at the power frequency is very small at the higher frequency this is very small that's mean the impedance is reduced this is reactance so overall impedance will be reduces and this becomes a short circuit with that tube. okay so clear about this thing uh, when uh, the, there is a capacitance arise uh, at the contact of the cathode with the dielectric. We, if we increase the frequency, actually we need to higher frequency that is in microwave, then what happens? The reactance that is the impedance part uh, of the capacitance will be reduces because this will be 1 by omega c. Reduces mean this become a short circuit with tube. So, there is a problem with uh, generation of the microwave that is the higher frequency electromagnetic wave. Next point is grain of the device reduces significantly. So, for, for the losses, the grain will be reduces. And the other one, this effect can be minimized by taking small electrode. Uh, so, we can we can we can solve this problem with, with a certain level. That is the small uh, the, uh, the if we use the small electrode, that is the small area and increase in the distance between them. So, if you take the area small and the omega uh you know, this uh, d will be large then c will be reduces i think clear c will be reduces if c will be reduces then chi will be increases okay so you can see here the impedance are two factor one is omega related to frequency and number two is the capacitance right so we, if you wants to uh, if you wants to higher frequency then this will be reduces with reduces uh, this one you gives a short circuited so uh, to avoid the short circuit you need to increase the chi c so if you increase the chi c you need to reduce omega or c but omega we cannot reduce because we wants to higher frequency so we need to reduces c how we can reduce c if we reduces uh, area of this uh, area of this capacitor and if we increase the d which actually we discussed here that is if we in, uh, reduces the size then uh, this then 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 the impedance will be increases and corresponding frequency can be also increases right uh, so uh, so you can uh, say that so the with uh, size modification of the capacitance you can solve up to a certain level but you cannot solve at all because uh, if you reduce the size at a particular level, but with uh, that uh, 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 below that uh, level, you cannot reduce it such that we can uh, produce any frequency of the microwave. I think clear about the limitation of the inter uh, electrode capacitance. Next point is lead inductance that means at the lead uh, or the stray inductance are effectively parallel within the device with the electrode capacitance so there is a uh, another prob uh, problem there is a parallel uh, electro uh, inductance and this parallel electrons will be lead so, uh, and you can see the uh, in inductive reactance is omega l so at the frequency increases effective reactance of the circuit also increases the effect raise of frequency limit of the devices so if he increases the uh, frequency this omega inductance also increases but the impedance uh, inductance of the cathode lead is common for both grid and plate circuit this provide a path of degenerate feedback which reduce overall efficiency of device so this is uh, uh, this uh, with increasing frequency this reactance increases but but the effect of the impedance but this will be reduce the efficiency of the circuit okay so this is a problem uh, for in case of this uh, lead lead inductance leading inductance next point is the transit time the time required for electron to travel from cathode to the plate that's mean you can see here this is the time required from cathode to the plate is called transit time okay so this is the tra transit time to time required from that plate uh, cathode to this plate now the problem is 
uh, for lower frequency the transit time is very negligible there is no problem in case of the lower frequency transit time is low but in case of the higher frequency the transit time is very high that means it's comparatively high uh, and for that the performance or efficiency of the device is reduced but because uh, the if the increase the transit time then the electron goes from this uh, cathode to plate uh, the time required for electron goes from the cathode to plate is larger that means the performance of the device will be reduces okay so that is the problem for the in case of the transit time okay next point is the gain band production uh, production that means gain, gain band production is independent of frequency there is no problem that uh, with the frequency but there is a problem if he wants to a a, a uh, higher gain then the um, bandwidth will be narrower that means the frequency bandwidth you need to narrow it to uh, obtain a bandwidth uh, gain bandwidth produ production or you can say that is the higher gain if you want then you need to reduce the bandwidth of the of this uh, product okay so if you reduce the bandwidth that means the range of the frequency of the generated uh, microwave will be uh, reduces right so using this uh, uh, conventional conventional tube if you wants to higher uh, sorry if you wants to higher gain then you need to uh, sacrifice with the range of frequency right that's mean if you draw this curve i think you remember this curve if you wants to quality factor is omega naught by sorry omega naught and this was the bandwidth delta omega quality factor will be omega naught by delta omega so if you wants to increasing the quality factor you need to reduce this one if you reduce this one this means this will be like that and that's mean there is a uh, range of the spectrum will be reduces that means you can generate a small range microwaves by this okay this is another limitation number fifth limitation is the skin effect skin effect is introduced at the higher frequency actually actually the with the uh, in the higher frequency the skin effect will be uh, effective so this is the another problem so the for effective current flow from the small section area of the surface of the device the, at the higher frequency resistance of the conductor increases due to which loss produces so uh, at the if you increasing the if you increase the frequency the resistance will be increases uh, with the help of this relation you can say so at the higher frequency the resistance will be increases and this becomes a uh, skin effect that means uh, that means the at the higher frequency there is a another problem arise and next one is the dielectric loss uh, actually the uh, device that is solid state device you can see this solid state devices solid state devices uh, so in case of the solid state devices there is another problem that is the dielectric loss solid state device that means silicon like that so these are device are made to perform a generation of uh, uh, generation of microwave but if you uh, if actually we want to separate out these with the air that's why it is encapsulated by a dielectric material so this dielectric material also also happen dielectric losses at the higher frequency so that the other frequency loss due to this material are also prominent so these are the common uh, problem in uh, in case of the conventional method to generate the electromagnetic wave so in case of the lower frequency this uh, method is very efficient no problem there is no problem but in case of the higher frequency there are various problem which uh, actually uh, which actually arises uh, and we need to uh, solve this problem to make or generate the uh, microwave and these are the process by which we can uh, generate the microwave that is the linear beam uh, oh, sorry linear beam tube cost field tubes to add the tube method and there is transverse electron device avalanche time device these are the method by which we can uh, generate the microwave the conventional method has a problem due to high frequency of the 
microwave and these are the actual the uh, limitation clear. So, in the next class we will be take about the first portion that is the tube O type tube ok. So, this is all about me this is my contact details and this is my YouTube channel details go through this channel you will be get the others video also like this session share this video to your friends subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the upcoming video as soon as possible. So, take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you.